That is a crawdad. There we go, it's a fish on. Dude, that thing looks creepy. Oh, we had a fish right there. Oh, God. Oh, that's beautiful. Fish on, baby. Oh, my gosh. Welcome to another episode, guys. Good morning, first of all. Uh, started the day with some coffee. We're down at the creek up in the mountains, and we're gonna hike up to a lake now to hopefully catch some trout, where we'll do a catch and cook together. There should be some really big ones in there. Man, look at all the, just the mist up in the mountains. It's absolutely beautiful out here this morning. We camped out with our vans for the last couple days at this small creek here where we've been fishing for trout. We caught a bunch of crawdads, and we're gonna take some of those crawdads up in the mountains. Let me just roll in a little bit of footage of us diving for those yesterday while we get camp ready. Yeah, he was under a rock. Ooh, maybe he just had a bite, not sure, not sure. Yes. Oh! 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 Fish on! All right, we're back at camp, and with us we got Taku and Jocelyn from Outdoor Chef Life. Jocelyn's already in the van. We're heading up to the mountain now, but we're gonna collect some crawdad traps. Yeah, and we see. left the crawdad trap last night in the river, so let's go check it out. Let's check it out. Let's go down to the river. Super pretty creek that we've been uh, camping at the last couple days. We got a crawdad trap right there. I think. Oh, dude, I see something in there. Yeah, I see one in there. Taku's gonna pull that out. I had it just looped around the rock so it doesn't go anywhere. Come on, look at that. Oh, heck yeah, what is that? Three. Three crawdads! Oh, there's a monster in there! Dude. Yeah. That's now right. That is a crawdad. And look how clean these guys are. No, no like little parasite things on them right here. So you're saying that the crawdads, like what further down south where the water isn't as clean off and you have to clean oh, them yeah. or brush them or something? You gotta brush them. They got like mud all up in the, in between there and the tail. Caught them with, uh, we just put a can of cat food in there. That's pretty popular crawdad bait. If you guys ever wanna catch them, just look for like rocky areas in your creek. They like to hide under rocks. Or we only need to harvest a few. We just want to like snack a little bit on them. We don't need to harvest a whole ton of them. Sustainability is super important. Good way to start the day. Good way to start the day. Crawdads in the trap. We're just going to pack up the rest of our stuff. Just clean up around camp a little bit. You notice there's a little bit of trash from some other people just laying around. We're going to just always leave the campsite cleaner than you found it and then we did good. So once we're done with that, we'll take off and get out in the mountains. the trail up to the lake right now crossing the bridge this is the last water that we're gonna have up until we get to the lake I'm just gonna fill up my water bottle real quick and off we go so let's go use the water filter fill this bag with water and then just squeeze it through here and then the water is clean to drink you can tell summer's ending when these flowers reach the top <laughs> it's a fire beat. I don't want to hear that, but that's good to know that when those flowers reach the top, then summer's coming to an end. Oh well, oh well, time to enjoy the rest of summer then. <laughs> we found the berry mother load. Look at all the berries. They're like wild blueberries. Mm. You can just eat them right off the bush. Look at all those. 
Wow. Mm. All right. A little bit of sugar, a little bit of hydration. Like I always say, just know kind of some vegetation berries or plants that you can eat. Uh, that way you can stay nourished. Another little rest stop for some blueberries. We did a little stretching. A little stretching. A little snacking. Mm -hmm. These are so good. Yeah. Oh, this one's a little different looking, huh? Yeah, yeah a little darker. This There's a, a couple darker. different strains of huckleberries here. Dark, yeah. Dark and shiny. And then, and then kind of a matte a blue finish matte. like a blueberry. Yeah. Wait, you said that the ones in Alaska had like what, worms and stuff in them? Yeah, a lot of them had worms. Maybe nearly half of them. Really? A third to half, yeah. Oh, man. It's <laughs> but, just like when you collect mushrooms, oftentimes mushrooms will have worms in them. I mean, almost always, especially some types of mushrooms, you can either remove all the worms or just not worry about it. I tend to not worry about it, but shh. This stuff right there on the tree, it's called witch's butter. Doesn't sound very appetizing and it sure don't look appetizing, but you can eat that stuff. This one looks like a little far gone. Do you want to try it? No, no, that one's good. Look, look. Is there a good one? Yeah. Oh, look at that. How about you grab one? I get to grab one. All right, fine. You want me to eat it? Die with you. Yeah, sure. A little bit of dirt on there too. I'll eat the dirt. All right. Minerals. There, look at that. Oh, so much flavor. I'm kidding. No flavor at all. Yeah. <laughs> no Do you have any like legitimate uses that you'd know of for witch's butter? Well, you could probably put it in some soups or something and try to, uh, if you didn't have like a woodier mushroom, mm -hmm. similar to that, but Just not a as texture, texture thing. I want to do some more survival videos out here in the mountains where uh, we'll just really live off of only what we find here. So definitely if you guys enjoy backpacking and mountain content, as always, feel free to subscribe. You don't have to, but we'll be out here a lot doing this. So this is your first mountain lake that you've ever been to? Like hiking? Hiking in? Yeah, pretty much. Oh yeah, there she is. Oh yeah. There she is. Oh, the water's like a mirror out there. Oh, I feel like I'm on an episode of Northwest Fishing Secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Got the whole lake to ourselves. Those rocks that you see on the other side there, those are all rocks that break off during earthquakes and stuff and settle down there. All those boulders is where the fish like to hide. Oh, yeah. So when you're casting, you want to like here, cast right between the boulders and like retrieve there or right there. So I've never fished the other side of the lake. So we're going to go over and scramble onto those boulders and try and fish off of those. Mm -hmm. And that's probably where the big ones are. Yeah. Oh, do you hear that? You just heard something out in the woods. Could it be Sasquatch? So we're just gonna set down the packs, relax for just a bit, have a little lunch before we get too serious about the lake. A nice little, little lunch. Look at those delicious looking sandwiches. Thank you. Absolutely. Fish. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. yeah, you see that? We just saw our first ripple. Just up until here, we haven't seen anything. So you just never know. Sometimes things can change year over year and there could be tons of fish and then you come back and there could be nothing. But that was a good sized fish. So we're getting our fishing gear ready. Let me just show you my tackle box. I've showed you guys before, but I've just got basically lures. Uh, we've got some bobber gear, some slip float stuff, a little bit of four pound fluoro is usually what I like to use. A little bit of split shot weight, some very small hooks and some various flies, a worm inflator, and that basically gives you most of what you need up at these alpine lakes. We've got a variety of our bullet lures with us. And Taku and Jocelyn were just up in Canada before this. And they were at a lake. And you fished the bullet lure. And how many trout did you just say you caught? 18. She caught 18 yeah. trout on the bullet lure. Taku, you caught a couple on the bullet lure too? Oh, yeah. Yeah, caught 10. 28 trout total oh, combined. Dude, dude. All right, I'm sneaking over to a spot where we can take a cast. We've got the bullet lure all ready to go. I'm gonna cast right out there where we just saw that trout. Got a little chilly, so I had to throw a hoodie on. It's like not that warm. It's probably like 49 degrees or something out here. First cast, here we go. 
up at these alpine lakes, I like to give it just a little bit faster of a retrieve because these fish are not lazy. They like the chase. Behind them. Come on. Ooh, right there. Ooh, follow, follow, follow. We just had a little guy go after it. And the rain's coming down. Look at the bushes here, absolutely loaded with berries. Look at these berries, absolutely beautiful. Anyone want a couple berries? Oh yeah, thank you. A little berry snack for, for yeah. the upcoming traverse. Mm. Oh. Dude's like berry jam. Yeah. So sweet, sweet and good. That's why it's important to take care of nature because she takes care of you too. You know, I just realized this is, I think the first time that I've ever taken mm -hmm. Since starting YouTube, the first time I've taken someone up into the Alpine Lakes. Oh yeah, this yeah. is exclusive. Honestly, this is great seeing them <laughs> out here in the mountains, finally I taking know. them up here. This is exciting. Yeah. Uh, it's magical up here. I wish we could show you more with drones and stuff, but in this area, they don't allow drones. So whatever drone shots we get, we get down in the valleys where it is still okay to fly them. So we're just trying to find a good spot to access the lake again. We might try right here in front of us. Lots of boulders there in front of us. Cast right out into the middle of them. Taku just saw a trout jump out there. I can see the ripples still, so there's, there's definitely some fish. All right, now I'll try just a slow retrieve. See if that makes a difference. <sighs> no bites yet, no bites yet. But so far I've had one follow. We've seen a couple surface out there and Taku just saw one pretty close and moving around that was apparently a good size. So that's a good sign. Now we're gonna make the traverse over to the other end of the lake to the rocks. Maybe what we'll do on the way there is, do I dare say it? Look for a dragonfly larva. even though it's raining, but it almost adds a different kind of vibe to this place. Yeah. Like a little mystic. Yeah, look at how the, that fog is just going across the yeah. lake. Yeah, and there's, there's this little bit of layer of fog over the whole lake. Yeah. That's cool. Look what I just found under this rock. Oh my goodness. Oh man, you guys know exactly what this means. There's no question, of course we're gonna look for some dragonfly larva. Here, all I'm doing to find these guys is just flipping over little pieces of wood, some rocks. Oh, there we go. I knew it, we got another one. <laughs> Check out, here's a little one of those little salamanders. <laughs> We're gonna let him go though. There you go, buddy. <laughs> He's out of there. <sighs> Look at that, bunch of dragonfly larva. Okay. What the, what? Dude, that thing looks creepy. Yeah. I feel like it's kind of like an underwater cricket. Oh, he's moving. He looks like a weird crossover between like an underwater cricket and a spider. Oh, he jumped off. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, I touched him. Whew. All right. That was a creepy looking little thing. That'll get us started. Yeah, look at that huge cliff behind us. Hopefully an earthquake doesn't happen. If an earthquake were to happen right now, it would send thousands of tons of rolling boulders down at us. Knock on wood. <sighs> knock on wood, except there is no wood. There's knock on rock, does that work? Now when you guys are on these scree fields is what this is called, 
really be careful that whatever you step on is actually solid because sometimes one of those boulders will roll away under your feet and uh, easy way to break a leg. <laughs> See that right there? Just be careful. So we're going to send a bobber out that way. That way the bobber and the dragonfly larva can fish while we cast the lure a little bit. Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Which one do you want? Oh, let me use my weird guy. Oh, you want to fish the weird one? Yeah. Come here, buddy. He's pretty hard. That's kind of weird. That thing is so freaky looking. So we've got a slip float set up. So right there, this little guy, we can adjust that to however deep we want to fish. I'm going to fish probably about four feet or so deep. We're using just a little swivel down to a four pound liter with some evenly spaced split shot, like always. Taku's got a bobber out right here. I'm gonna go just a little bit that way and we're gonna cast out the bobber there. Here we go, here we go. Oh yeah, this is the spot. This is beautiful. Oh yeah, there we go. Fish right there. Oh, 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 we had a fish right there. Oh, Cody. What if he goes for the bobber? A fish surfaced right in front of us, kind of like snapped at something and just took off. Do you still see him from up there? No, I don't. Yeah, get that bobber out a little further for sure. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, my bobber's down. There we go, it's a fish on. <laughs> I get my rod took off. <laughs> oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, he took off with it. Oh, that's a good trout. Beautiful rainbow, dude. Oh, Ooh, come on, come on, come on, baby. Oh, we got him. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Oh, look at the belly on that one. Could not resist. The nice. dragonfly. The dragonfly. He swallowed it. He <laughs> swallowed that dragonfly. That was honestly like not bad to yeah. just have the let him munch that bobber yeah. forever. Yeah. Man, things happen really fast. We've been fishing for probably a good hour and a half, maybe two hours. There we go. Look at that fish. Beautiful rainbow trout. There we go. There we go. He's right to sleep. That way it's no longer suffering. And now is when we're going to pull out the hook. That way he does, just doesn't have to go through that because this hook's pretty deep. Zero hesitation there on this guy. Awesome. Oh, yeah. There we go. That looks like a good spot right there. We're going to, again, give uh, the pole a lot of line here that way there's plenty of slack for the fish in case we miss it again so that the fish can kind of gobble on it and chew and swim off with it a bit like that. Line's tangled. No. No. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What's going on? Fish on. Fish on, baby. Oh my gosh. Life. Do you get one? It's a good one. It's a good one. Oh, it's a good one. <laughs> there you go. And then I just hand lined it in. Oh, nice job, man. Oh, he's beautiful. Yeah. About the same size. Oh, another beau- oh, yeah. Yeah. It was pretty stressful. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> no way. Oh, he choked it, man. He yeah, choked, choked it. it too. Dude, yeah. that's a beautiful trout, man. Good size. Really beautiful trout. So Taku just got one. Sounds like that was a mess. But awesome. Beautiful fish. So we got a couple to eat. You know, we'll, we'll see if we can catch one more, but we won't. That was a marmot. That- Dude, did you hear that? Yeah, what was it? That was a marmot. Really? So what I just did is I put together a bottom rig, 
that uh, we're just gonna throw a little a little pill on there and uh, see if anything picks it up at the bottom. That's a nice one, man. That's a good one. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, mountain trout. Good one. That's a good mountain trout. Yeah. We'll send this baby all the way out there. Come on. Oh yeah. And then we'll just set up this pole, like right about here. Oh, my bobber is going down again. How does that always happen when I run over here? <laughs> That's a bobber down. Bobber down. I probably like scared the fish so hard by running over here. That was probably not good. <sighs> Bobber's right there. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on back. Every time we go over there to check out some salamanders, I look over and the bobber's down. That's Taku's bobber there, my bobber right here. He's casting now a, a bigger lure that he can cast out further. I'm gonna continue going with the bullet lure. Let's yeah. see what happens. Oh, bobber down. Bobber down. Fish on. <laughs> oh, it's a good one. Nice, dude. Oh, 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 oh God, Taku's got a big one. We're gonna see if we, he needs help. Come in, come in, come. He's a monster, dude. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a really good one. Ooh. Oh, 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 yeah. Dude, monster trout. Yeah. Monster. That's a good one, dude. dude. <laughs> that one is nice. Dude, that's how it's done, man. That's good how it's job. Done. All right, way to finish it off. Way to finish it off. Yeah, redeem myself from that oh. last, last one. <laughs> wow. That's a really good mountain trout. That's probably second biggest one I've ever seen up here in the mountains. Nice. Dude, now that, that's a mountain trout, baby. That is a good mountain trout right here. Dude. That's a nice one, dude. That's a, that's nearly 14 inches, 13, 14. That's a really, yeah, yeah easily. 14, I don't think yeah. I brought a measuring tape, but. Uh, right about 14. Oh, this is so awesome. Being able to, being able to catch fish like this. With gorgeous, amazing scenery. Can't beat it. Nah, hard to, really hard to. Check out what Jocelyn found here while we were fishing. Ooh, a whole bag full of huckleberries. That's awesome. Are we gonna make jam or something with that later? Um, I think maybe muffins and whatever's left, maybe jam or a little mini pie. Ooh, <laughs> that sounds way too good. There's a successful hunter. Glad I can provide. <laughs> I thought I was gonna skunk there for a minute. <laughs> All right, well now we got to figure out which ones we're going to eat because now that one's so big that there's no way we're going to eat all of them. Uh, Here's our catch. Yeah. Two medium ones and one giant. All right, time to cook up some fish. We got one more pole just on the bottom out there. If something happens, great. If not, it's all good. We caught plenty of fish already. A little bit of water. We still got our crawfish up here. We're gonna start out with a crawfish boil and then cook up the fish. Here's our little solid fuel stove. I'm gonna throw in a little fuel tablet. That's the fuel right there for the stove. Goes right in there like that. A little bit of butter inside there. Let's get this baby boiling. It's so cold here. Like, look at this. We're all huddling around for the fire. <laughs> Taku's excuse is filming B-roll and Jocelyn's, you know, like just wanting to get a close look here too. But we're, we're freezing. We're free. It's, it's just so cold. I can see our breath now. Yeah, now you can see. Yeah. Breath. Oh yeah. So we're just gonna let that baby simmer for just a couple minutes. 
just until those onions start caramelizing and that way they develop some delicious sweet flavors for us. Oh yeah, those onions are starting to brown just a little bit. They've softened up really good. They've been steaming in there for a while. We're gonna take our fresh lake water. And here's our jar of crawdads that we got this morning. Absolute monster crawdad and two medium sized ones. All right, water's ready for the crawdads to go in. These guys are going in alive, but the hot water puts them to sleep in just a second. Three, two, one, and he's in. There we go, and he's already out, turning red in there, no longer feeling anything. Nice. The big one, yeah. Let's take that knife and take him down to the water and do a little little belly check. Belly check. <sighs> belly check. We got crawdads already cooking right here. Taku's got the honors of cutting open his beautiful trout. Hey. Yeah, let's cut that baby open. Just start right back there by the butthole. Cut all the way up. Nice sharp knife. There we go. We got the guts. Anything in that belly? Yeah, there's definitely stuff ooh, in the belly. Ooh, ooh. All right, that's interesting now. Oh, a dragonfly larva. Dragons. That's probably... Oh, bugs, 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 bugs. Dude, some of them are still moving. No way. Oh, wow. Yeah. A lot of bugs here. Oh, he's not even... Look at all of this. There's more in here. Might as well find out what the little guys have been eating. Ooh, <laughs> belly's already pretty. Look, that's the belly coming out. Oh it's so fat, full of food. Oh. <laughs> a nice one today. All the guts just come right on out and that's a clean trout. A little bit of pinkage going on in this meat. Just yeah. a little bit yeah, of pink. Bit. Inside the belly of this one. Ooh, <laughs> all this black stuff, just bugs. Man, like ants or something. Yeah. They are gorging themselves at this lake. So that just shows what these trout are eating up here in the mountains, primarily insects. And that's probably why the bullet lure didn't work as well is because they're not eating smaller fish up here. Uh, they like eating eating the bugs. Uh, what I'm just gonna do with the, the guts is just get them way out there. That way it doesn't hang out by the shoreline. Instead, uh, I can sink down and that way the crawdads can eat it. Um, and that way it doesn't attract bears or anything. Let's just see what this guy here has. Oh, no. oh he peed <laughs> blood on me. Okay, this belly we're not even gonna cut it open. We already know what's in there. So the little guys we packed away, we'll take those home. And then uh, this big guy here, we're just gonna fillet him real quick. Yo, that's a trout fillet right there. Just like that. Taku, how am I doing so far? You're a professional sushi chef. <laughs> well, you don't ask questions you don't want the answers to. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, let's get it cooking. Let's get that baby on the grill. Go. We're getting a little bit of rain starting now. Come on. So just a little bit of butter in the pan. We're gonna have to retreat to a little bit of some shelter here. It got wild, all of a sudden the wind and the rain came in. Here we go, a little bit of onion shavings in this pan. Ooh. Very Washington. Very Washington y. Welcome to Washington. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Is that how a professional chef would do it? Just blast the onions really hot, or would you do slow? Do whatever you like, blast them. 
<laughs> blast them. I think in this situation, it's about blasting them. Yeah. We're gonna eat these to stay warm here while we cook the rest. Oh man. Daddy. What do you think? I'll get a claw. You wanna crack this big guy here? Dude, the claw meat is giant on this. Oh. Oh. Dude. Crawdad claw meat. claw meat. You got some there too? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, dip in there, dip in there. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Dude. Yeah, that's more like crab. That, that was strong tasting. Dude, just the guts came out. <laughs> but that one had like a full sack of guts that just came into my mouth. <laughs> Sorry, little buddy. Now, if you guys want to see a legit crawfish boil, as well as what happened in the couple days leading up to this episode here, check out Outdoor Chef Life's uh, channel and his video, which is the prequel to today's video. And of course, subscribe to Taco and Jocelyn if you guys haven't already. Bam. Bam. Onions are done. In the half she goes. Skin side down first. What was that? Oh! Oh! Oh my God! <laughs> you guys just fell into the crawfish pot. <laughs> Oh, the GoPro's a buttery mess. Oh, I'm so sorry for throwing you in the crawfish pot. Was it was it good though? Was it good? <laughs> <laughs> I bet it was. You're an absolute mess. You're going in the water. We forgot something. We got in some, get a little bit of Danish sea salt here. Oh, skin. perfection. Look at that skin. 100% crispy. Crispy. Oh, you think that's All looking right. pretty done? Yep, that's pretty much done. Nice. Oh, that's beautiful. Final step to the trout taco. As we heat the pan up one more time. Oh, a handful of cheese. Look at that. And then, boys and girls, tortilla second. Here we go. Here we go. Nice in slow motion. Oh, oh, oh. oh there we go. <laughs> Take a close look at this. Nice and close look. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Oh my goodness. Will you look at that? Besties. They are besties. Just like me and you. <laughs> <laughs> Tucker, you're gonna need to get a big one. Yeah. You're gonna get a really big one. Yeah, let me get that. There we go. Nice piece of trout meat. Look yes. at that. Generous handful of onions. You ready? Oh, yeah. Here you oh, go. Hold I'm, that. I'm so hungry, man. Oh, dude. You ready? You want the first bite? Here. Take no, the first I'll wait bite. for mine. I'll wait for mine. Here, no, take it, take it, take it, take it. <laughs> Ladies first. <laughs> mm. Warm. Warm, right? Mmm. Mm. Hit the spot. Oh, hits the spot. Oh my goodness. Yep, yeah. I'll just a little hot in the middle. I'll take that one. Let me know in the comments, guys. Do you skin trout before cooking or not? And do you eat the pin bones or not? For me, I eat the pin bones. I eat the skin. I love the skin, actually. It has so much flavor. Onions and fish, man. Onions and fish. Mm -hmm. Watch out, nice and hot. That's so good. Well, cheers, guys. <laughs> This bite's for you. Wait, no, you already ate my crawdads earlier. <laughs> mm. How much better does things taste in the outdoors? The trout is super flavorful. The Danish sea salt, all it does is it just lifts out those flavors of the trout and the onions. I love the Danish sea salt. The Danish sea salt's good. I love it. Mm, Ooh, nice little quesadilla. Nice quesadilla. Man, the crispy cheese adds just a Mm, nice crunch to the whole thing. Mm. The quesadilla master. <laughs> After fish quesadilla right there. 
Oh, it is so hot, but yeah. Oh. I want that hotness in me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just look at that view, though. And the sun is still setting down there. She's not down yet, but she's hidden behind those mountains behind us. Freezing, man. Yep. We're gonna get some movement in right now. We're gonna get some <laughs> really good movement in. Man. Look at that last view of the lake. Absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. That's all we got for you guys. It's getting dark now. We got to get down the trail before it's completely dark. So thank you guys so much for enjoying this adventure with us. Uh, also, if you guys are not already subscribed to Outdoor Chef Life, go ahead, head over there, subscribe, watch the prequel to this video, leave a like on this video, drop a comment. You guys know I love reading them. Subscribe if you're brand new. I love you. And we'll see all of you for the next fishing adventure. Till then, you all know it. Fish, Fish on, on baby. baby.